all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May all of you listening to the sound of my voice on Prophet Kanawu TV be blessed. Pillar of Christ Jesus International is the platform and is headed by Prophet Kanawu in Paris, France. You could reach Prophet Kanawu on Zoom on Sundays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 18.30 hours Greenwich Mean Time. You could reach Prophet Kanawu on Sundays, Thursdays, and Fridays on Zoom at 18.30 hours Greenwich Mean Time. Thank you. Our message today is entitled Ready for Battle. Ready for Battle. And we will delve into the message from 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 11 to 16. 2 Kings chapter 6. Verse 11 to 16. And I read from the Bible. And the heart of the king of Syria was so troubled for this thing. And he called his servants and said unto them, Will he not show me which of us is for the king of Israel. And one of his servants said, Nay, my lord, O king. But Elijah, Elisha, the prophet, that is in Israel, telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bed chamber. And he said, Go and see where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent ye to the horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host was with horses and chariots was run about the city. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Amen. May the Lord God Almighty bless his word. Amen. Ready for battle. It is time to rise up and realize the battle before us is won. So get suited up to participate in the victory. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your word. That is like a two-edged sword. And Lord, as we delve into your word, we ask that you give us understanding and focus as of the day of Pentecost. And Lord, lead us by your Holy Spirit to the, all the four corners of the earth to preach your word so that souls may be won into your kingdom. Through your church, Pillar of Christ Jesus International. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. The time has come for the church to awaken to the cry of battle. The sound of distant thunder is on the horizon. There is a battle brewing 
and the church should prepare herself. The spiritual battle seems to pour itself forth into the physical realm, and the devil seems to be taking as many captives as possible. Awake is the cry to the church in slumber, for the church is being overtaken and does not seem to want to hear the message of truth, but rather seeking to lie down and think herself not to be vulnerable, yet vulnerable as she stands without the power of God flowing through her. The voice of the prophets are calling, speaking for the warnings of God. But much like time passed, no one is listening, preferring to hear something pleasant rather than the truth of their plight. In the midst of this, God is raising up an army of faith, faith, people who will stand guard through the long nights and hot days, who will continue to raise the banner of Christ high, even while others have left it drop or dropped it all together. The greatest day of the church stand before us. If we listen to the call of our Lord and Commander Jesus Christ, Get ready then, dearly beloved, to experience what the young man with Elisha experienced in 2 Kings chapter 6. Elisha had continually, continually warned the king of Israel of impending danger. And the king listened to what Elijah was saying and responded and responded infuriating the king of Aram, who was trying to defeat the people of God. In verse 11, he summoned his officers and demanded of them, will you not tell me which of us is on the side of the king of Israel? Before any spy satellites was launched in space, there was a spy in the sky. So also God watches over all his creation. Too often we forget we have the greatest power in the universe working for us if we are but on his side. So the king of Aram got word from one of his soldiers. None of us, my lord, the king, said one of his officers. But Elijah the prophet, who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the very words you speak in your bedroom. You don't need electronic bargain when you have prophetic ear dropping. God was tuned in into what the king was doing. Elisha was tuned into what God was saying to him. And the king of Israel was listening to the voice of the prophets. Then the king of Aram sent soldiers to find Elisha to seek a point of weakness in his defense so he could be taken captive. The same plan the devil used today. Satan is not original only recycled. In verse 15 and 16, when the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots have surrounded the city. Oh, my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. Don't be afraid. The prophet answered, those who are with us are more than those who are with them. If you don't know God, if you don't have a personal relationship, or if you know God, 
but have fallen asleep in your relationship, you have something to worry about. The enemy has surrounded the city. Can you imagine this young servant of God rising in the morning and seeing how suddenly things have changed? When he went to bed, everything was okay. The city was not under siege. Then things take, took a rapid turn. Beloved, how many of us Christians have gone to bed with everything all right? only to wake up to find themselves under attack, surrounded with possible means of escape. There is a saying that if you snooze, you lose. And so we need to be constantly awake to the things of God. That's why you need to know the authority you have in Christ so you can respond to the situations of life like Elisha. Don't be afraid for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Amen. Beloved, let us bear our heads in prayer. Father God, we Thank you for your word. That is like a two a sword. And dear Lord, as we go our separate ways, give us the heart to prepare for battle. And Lord, give us the courage to preach your word to all the four corners of the earth so that souls may be won into your kingdom through your church, pillar of Christ, Jesus International. Father God, we thank you for the grace you have bestowed. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for what you are doing in our lives and what you have already done in our lives. We stand in awe of you, Holy Father, in Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen.